This is also the weekend we spring forward. That's the cute name for losing an hour of perfectly good sleep on a Saturday night once a year when daylight saving starts. We have an interesting story tonight on some real solid science that went into a study of some of the health effects of daylight saving time. Specifically, and somewhat unbelievably, the heightened risk of heart attack because of it. The story from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. This Sunday, 1.5 billion people in the world will lose an hour's sleep when their clocks spring forward for daylight saving time. For many, that lost hour of sleep can be just a bother. But a recent study of thousands of people in Sweden found it can have profound effects on the body. In the two weeks after the spring change, heart attacks go up by 5%. In the two weeks after the autumn change, when people get an extra hour's sleep, heart attacks drop by 5%. They've been up all night. Right. Here's an example. Dr. Charles Seisler, a sleep expert at Brigham and Women's Hospital, says this is just further proof of how sleep deprived many people are. They're struggling to stay awake. We're already at the edge. We've, we've pushed ourselves to the limit. And now with each additional hour loss of sleep, the impact on our cardiovascular system is even greater. Studies indicate that in the Western world, an average night's sleep for adults decreased from nine hours at the beginning of the 20th century to seven and a half hours now. What can be done about the risk from daylight saving time? Sleep researchers say it would be wonderful if employers would let people come to work an hour later for a day or two after the change. But that's not likely to happen. But they do say that the extra hours of light in the evening offer an opportunity for more exercise, which can counter the negative effects of the sleep loss. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.